Hi there. Good day everyone. I'm here again your Sir Arnold to give you some tips and give correct ideas about our topic today. Just remember these things and you will broaden your ideas sooner when you are really interested with your chosen field of interest. Our topic is all about the AC and DC. What are the things we should remember when we use this two kinds of current? Let's start. In alternating current, the electric charge flow changes its direction periodically. AC is the most commonly used and most preferred electric power for household equipment, office, buildings, etc. It was first tested based on the principles of Michael Faraday in 1832 using a dynamo electric generator. And current can be identified in a waveform called a sine wave. In other words, it can be referred to as a curved line. These curved lines represent electric cycles and are measured per second. The measurement is read as Hertz, Hz. AC is used in powerhouses and buildings because generating and transporting AC across long distances is relatively easy. AC is capable of powering electric motors which are used in refrigerators, washing machines, etc. Unlike alternating current, the flow of direct current does not change periodically. The current electricity flows in a single direction in a steady voltage. The major use of DC is to supply power to electrical devices and also to charge batteries. Example, mobile phone batteries, flashlights, flat screen television and electric vehicles. DC has the combination of A plus and a minus sign, a dotted line or a straight line. Now let's get started to the things we should always be remembered of these to current. It is very basic but don't forget these things. C has no polarity but DC has. In AC the line or terminal is called live or hotline and the other line is neutral or ground. Meaning in AC by phasing. In DC its polarity is negative and positive. Avoid using the term in alternating current the negative and positive. In alternating current the flow of current changes the flow in every period. That's why it is called alternating without a constant position. In DC the flowing current stays permanently in negative or positive. When the line or terminal is connected to it, there is a significant effect but AC doesn't. The flow of current doesn't matter because the flow of current won't depend on the polarity. It depends on the line or phase. Always the color code. We will follow this guide so that we can't violate the law in electrical. Thanks again. I hope you learned even a little knowledge in this video. See you next time. Happy holiday everyone and keep safe.